Hello and welcome. I'm John Starwalt and welcome this morning to Morning Scripture, a chance for us to read through some of the lessons that are assigned by the um, Revised Common Lectionary for the day. Uh, I'm the pastor of St. John's Lutheran Church in Lexington, South Carolina, and you can find out more about the church through its website, stjohnslexington.com. Or you can come and, um, and find our Instagram and our Facebook presence. The handles for both Instagram and Facebook is Welcome to St. John. So welcome this morning. It's good to see you this morning. It's a much cooler day here in South Carolina than it has been. And uh, that's a relief. I think everyone can agree with that. Well, we'll come together today and we'll be reading from a selection from the book of Exodus. And uh, before we do that, just kind of a sharing and an invitation again to join us for worship on Sunday mornings at 9.30. We stream from the sanctuary, and we are streaming on our Facebook page. The handle, again, is Welcome to St. John's. Before we begin reading Exodus, I just want to talk a little bit about the book of Exodus. You know, the book of Exodus, it, it describes the, the passage of the people of Israel from slavery to the Promised Land. And it's a story really about God's abiding constant presence with people on a journey. Despite their sometimes acts of faithlessness and doubt, God continues on that journey. After Hurricane Katrina slammed into the Gulf Coast, uh, I was fortunate to be able to lead congregation mission trips twice a year in the spring and in the fall for three years going down to Ocean Springs, Mississippi near Biloxi and camping out uh, and then going out and, and helping to rebuild, rebuilding people's homes and, and um, providing some hope. Always before those mission trips left, we would leave the sanctuary of um, Holy Trinity Lutheran Church in Nashville and we would pray and we would just also remind ourselves that we are, we are about assisting and giving care to people who are in their own exodus experience and that our work wouldn't just be to rebuild, but to restore people's hope and to remind people that God constantly was present with them in their, in their difficult journey. And so today we're going to be reading from Exodus and we'll be reading um, from the 12th chapter. But let's begin with the word of prayer. Most glorious and perfect source of love, you have created our souls and you have given us a secret strength, the mystery of baptism. We are flesh and spirit, and because of this, we are hybrids adapted for two worlds, this one of forms and feeling, and your world of light and love. Here is Exodus, the 12th chapter. We're reading from verse um, 30, uh, 29 to verse 40, um, 42. At midnight... The Lord struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of the livestock. Pharaoh arose in the night and he and all his officials and all the Egyptians and there was a loud cry in Egypt for there was not a house without someone dead. Then he summoned Moses and Aaron in the night and said, Rise up and go away from my people, both you and the Israelites. Go worship the Lord, as you have said. Take your flocks and your herds, as you said, and be gone. And bring a blessing on me, too. The Egyptians urged the people to hasten their departure from the land, for they said, We shall all be dead. So the people took their dough before it was leavened, with their kneading bowls, wrapped up in their cloaks on their shoulders. The Israelites had done as Moses told them. They had asked the Egyptians for jewelry of silver and gold and for clothing, and the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they let them have what they asked, and so they plundered the Egyptians. The Israelites journeyed from Ramses to Sukkot, about 600,000 men on foot besides children. A mixed crowd also went up with them and livestock in great numbers, great flocks and herds. They baked unleavened cakes of the dough that they had brought out of Egypt. It was not leavened because they were driven out of Egypt and could not wait, nor had they prepared any provisions for themselves. 
The time that the Israelites had lived in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of 430 years, on that very day, all the companies of the Lord went out from the land of Egypt. That was for the Lord a night of vigil to bring them out of the land of Egypt. That same night is a vigil to be kept for the Lord by all the Israelites throughout their generation. Why don't we close with a word of prayer and I'll pause for you to offer the names of those that you wish to pray for. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Dear God, our lives are like an Exodus journey. Sometimes we stumble. Many times we rejoice. We give thanks and at the same time, sometimes we fear for the next day or the next moment. And we live in a constant sense of hope and, and prayer for those that we love. So remind us in our journey that you are always accompanying us, that you live through our struggles and you also live through our joys. Give us a sense of strength and hope and passion for life and help us to see ahead new ways to live compassionately for others. Be with those especially, O oh God, that, that have need now, those who are sick, those struggling with COVID-19 or any other health struggle in their lives and bless caregivers and health experts. We ask, dear God, that you bless teachers and students at this time as schools come back together and strengthen them and protect them. And also hear the prayers that we offer now. Amen. It's good to be with you again. Great to see you. I uh, invite you to morning scripture tomorrow at 10 and also parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, remember to tell the children that tomorrow Wednesday when you go on St. John's Facebook page, welcome to St. John's, you should be able to find a video of uh, story time with Pastor John. I'm looking forward to reading uh, The Mole Finds Hope for the children tomorrow. So look for that. Blessings to you. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.